Now then, this weekend is set to be the busiest for our region's airports, but not everyone is jetting off abroad. We're not going anywhere. We don't deserve not it. Not unless we win the lottery. Exactly. But Liverpool's tourist economy is booming. The latest numbers show that visitors are up. They're spending more money too. In fact, hundreds of millions of pounds more. So let's cross live to our Merseyside correspondent, Andy Bonner, who we hope has a view of things from almost 200 feet above the city. Andy. Oh, yes. Have a look at this. Welcome on board the Wheel of Liverpool. And in the nearly 10 years that it's been here, it's attracted many, many people to see some of the finest views, frankly, that Liverpool has to offer. And it has played an important part in the role of Liverpool's success story, which was built, frankly, on the triumph of... European capital of culture, remember that back in 2008 and the regeneration of the city centre. In fact, the Liverpool One shopping centre, you might just be able to see uh, over my shoulder there, is still popular, attracting 29 million visitors each year. So the wheels that were set in motion over a decade ago are continuing to turn and they mean billions of pounds to the local economy. The latest figures show that Liverpool's tourism industry is sky high at the moment. Visitor numbers up 7.4%. Whether they're from home or abroad, people are staying longer and most importantly, they're spending more money. Reaching new heights, these people are on a tour of one of our most iconic buildings. They're part of a growing group making Liverpool a holiday hotspot. Yeah, it's awesome. It's beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely history here, more than we've got in Australia, of course. There's so much to see up here. The cathedral, the live building, but the museums, it's, it's had so much to offer as a city now. We've never actually seen the Mersey from this perspective before. Um, but we really like it. This is one of my favourite cities to see. I've been two or three times. There's more and more things seem to be going on each, each time you, you come. The Royal Liver Building 360 tour has only been open since spring, yet it's seen visitors flock to the attraction. I've only been in Liverpool for less than a year now, um, but even in this short amount of time, this, even the stories people are telling me of what the city used to be like and how it's kind of progressed into what the city is today, and it almost is shaking everything in its stride now. So I think it's just a very exciting time for the city. 2018 was a giant year for Liverpool. October's showcase event helped boost visitor numbers to 38 million. It's all worth 3.3 billion pounds to the city and fuels 38,000 jobs. It was huge in 2018. We had a bit. We had extra money from the city region, which was really useful. So it gave. It was a massive boost in 2018. We have got loads of ambitions for the next five years. So I think you need to watch this space. The most important thing for us to spend time as a family. Liverpool's positioning itself as a city of creatives, culture addicts and music lovers. And it seems wherever people are from, there are two big things that keep them coming. There's football, there's the Beatles, but there's more than that because this city is a city that's an iconic world-class city. And over the last 10 years, we've got that back. We, we now know where our position is in the world. In Matthew Street, it's the annual Beatles Festival, so people are bound to be drawn by the Fab Four. Beatles. Liverpool is Beatles to me, nothing else. Some of the international students obviously don't know it just because of Beatles, because of the football as well. I think it's a beautiful city, so uh, I am so glad to be here. A lot of people coming here from Argentina and all Latin America and Spain. And is it always the Beatles that brings people here? Yeah. Is there enough to see and do here? We've just got done saying we got to come back because we're not going to get to see it all this trip. Wow. <laughs> However they do it, tourism bosses know that by attracting more people to Liverpool, it can have a positive effect on the whole region. And as the numbers continue to grow, Liverpool really has something to sing about. Andy Bonner, ITV News, Liverpool.